Hi guys, welcome to the short video about how you can download a file from the Dropbox um, when you are not logged in. So sometimes you get a link for a Dropbox file from somebody else and if you don't have an account or you don't want to log in, so this is how to download the file uh, even though so sometimes I also put down some kind of download links to Dropbox into my description when I uh, show products like with a driver and sometimes I fear that drivers won't be available anymore or tools and then so this is how it works so let's say here we have the link this is to a net adapter repair tool and then you just click on the link or you copy and paste it so I, in this case just to show you uh, i have pasted this copy pasted so you can see i'm in a private window i have no login data no nothing so it's like a clean uh, version like a total clean start and this is what happens usually Dropbox comes up with a box here and they of course ask you to create an account you can do that you can even do that using a link I will put down the link into the description of this video to create an account so it will also benefit my channel it doesn't have any disadvantages for you so I can uh, I have more space to share things with you but you don't actually need to create an account you can click this thing away and just click on this arrow here on this site so and then click on direct download if you have already an account on Dropbox you can save it on to your Dropbox but usually you will need that, that locally on your PC so click on direct download and sometimes it does not open the download thing here like in this case sometimes it will come up again and ask you to open an account but there's an other link like usually a little bit below that where you can say no I don't want to open an account I just want to download it and yeah otherwise you just click on save file of course and then you can download it and it will go to your local hard disk and you can double click or maybe better check double check uh, with a virus scanner I mean of course I would never ever uh, add a wire and Troy's horse or adware or whatsoever but I cannot guarantee of course that the originator of the file has added something but of course I can guarantee before I upload anything to my Dropbox to share it with you I'm always scanning it with the Windows essential wireless scanner and also with the malware bytes usually I'm scanning as well with the malware bytes and only if it looks good and I've been using it for myself for a while I will upload it and share it with you so I would say it's actually safer using my file than the original one because the with the original one uh, from downloading from the or from any web page uh, you never know I mean there are some hackers they could hijack their web page and then replace the original file uh, where you which you will download uh, with an infected file and then you will download the infected thing so this should uh, should actually not happen when you're using my link but it could be that you are using an older link I mean the original file will always be or usually be updated on the original site and I will of course almost never up, uh, update my files I just upload it and then they will stay uh, where, where they are in the same condition but they're, at least they are safe or as safe as ever possible so that's it for now I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time